So I hope you can see me. I just stopped at the Cuts Museum in Bonn to show you how I can quickly download the tracks from the UMB. So I've taken some pictures, I've done the track log, and what I'm going to do is quickly, kind of mid-tour, download this all to the Q1 show you how easy it is. So I've got the Q1, what I'll do is I'll take it out of the uh, holder. I have a couple of connector cables, let's just take that out of standby. I'm going to put the USB... That sounds nice. USB serial adapter in there. that in. Plug that into the GPS module, make sure it's switched on. So I'm coming out of standby now. And uh, in a minute I'll also download the, the photos. This is going to take, uh, I guess, about three or four minutes. So, log in. Logging in. Okay, I'm using some Microsoft software called GPS Track Download. It's going to download straight from this and save it. So, action, download from device. Goes through all the COM ports, tries to find the uh, Garmin module, sorry, Garmin device on the serial port and then download the uh, GPX tracks. It's doing that right now. Three, two, one. Save that. So that's the track download, let me take that out. Now let's download the images. It's fairly simple. Oh, how can I download the images? They're on there. One second. Okay, I downloaded the pictures and I'm just uh, resizing those now because they were big uh, 5 megapixel pictures which I don't want to upload on the uh, cell, cell phone. So I've resized those to 1024 by 768. So now I've got the track logs and the pictures on here. What I can do let's just go straight into RoboGeo and you probably won't be able to see this but let's let's try RoboGeo has one function to uh, select images so I'm going to sort those by details and I can find the latest ones which are let's make that bigger Probably these ones. Okay, so we'll download those. Those are loaded into. No, that wasn't the right pictures. Whoa. Let's start that again. Robo Geo. This is probably completely boring because you don't actually see what's going on, do you? Let's try that again. Select images. My documents. My pictures. Here we go, these are the pictures that select by details and name, no size because then I can pick, pick the resized ones, open those. Now I have the new pictures in, in the list, you cannot see that at all can you? Okay, so I'll just walk you through. Now I'm loading the track log file, downloaded, it's now uh, match the track log with the images. Now I'm going to write the location data to the EXIF header. That takes that long. Now, finally, export to a Google map, uh, Google web page. Oh, that's terrible, you cannot see that. But anyway, all I need to do is create Google map. We're going to call it um, something different. Oops. Okay, Google Map. And um, something different. No, I need text box, text box needed. Uh, this is where you need a keyboard. Shitty thing. Anyway. Create the Google Map. 
Okay. And now it's creating the Google map. So how long have we been doing this? Three minutes. It's taken three minutes now to do that. And I have downloaded the track, downloaded the images, and I now have a Google map. Oh, of course I need to get to the internet to see the map, which is very easy. Because all I do is enable Bluetooth on the mobile phone. Go to Bluetooth, Bluetooth on. Bluetooth is on. Then we need to connect to Bluetooth. Dial. Verifying username password. Registering on the network. Authenticated done. Now then, what we should see is a live Google Maps image. Now you can just work out the track here that I've taken. There's pictures on there already. And the Google Map is loading as well. So, four minutes to do that. Not bad. And I'm basically in the middle of uh, Bonn. No PowerPoint. Sorry, no, no mains power. Just my phone, my UMPC, and my GPS. Good, eh? I'll probably demo that again at home because it will be easier for you to see. There you go. Back to on the bike now and to take a few more pictures. See you at home. Going for the steps. Shouldn't have done that. Bit of a stow here. Bit of midday activity going on in Vaughan. We're gonna get our way through, don't worry. Probably kill myself for umpcportal.com, but who gives a beep? Fun thing is, I've got to get all the way up that hill to that mast up there. Six point eight kilometers an hour. Holy moly! Be faster to walk. Things I do for you. Ah, uh, only about two hundred meters climb to go. Yeah. Just to give you an idea of what level ground is. That's about level. That's where I'm going up. Yeah, great. It's hard work. Especially doing the video at the same time. Okay, two hands needed now. See you at the top. No way, I couldn't do that. Especially when some guy came flying down the track at about 40 kilometers an hour. And I'm doing three. No, no, I'm walking. Nearly at the top. Well, it's hardly high up in the world here. But it was high enough. Oh, I can't even talk anymore. It was high enough for me.